Prairie Sportsmen, today's the day you should have tuned in. We're gonna play with turtle by gully. Right now, we're gonna start mixing. So the turtle, you can see I've cooked, I've minced. I'm gonna add celery, onion, carrot to this mix. About the same volume. Uh, because that we're doing these cabbage rolls, that's today's recipe. And then we're gonna add rice. So you all, you'll want about the same volume of rice as you used for turtle. With that in mind, mix, 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 mix. I have already seasoned that turtle when I cooked it. I re-seasoned it when I chopped it. I'm not gonna season it anymore even though I got seasoning here. We're gonna wait a little bit and see what happens. Now, the other item is that the cabbage leaves have to be poached off. Salted water, bring it to a boil, take the leaves off the head of your cabbage, and voila, bing a bang a boom, and here you go, you've got them. You're gonna put a dollop of this right in the center. You could use your scoop. I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna fold it up like I'm folding a burrito, and away we go. This way, this way, this way, into the pan that's already holding some. You could see I've buttered that pan on the bottom. It's a standard baking dish, and in we go again. Now, the other thing I want you to point, or that I want you to see, I take the core away. Sometimes I have trouble getting that done. So if I remove the core, I seem to have a little better luck with this. The goal of this entire dish is to get this rolled, get it wrapped, get it baked. This is gonna take us about 15 minutes uh, to finish off. When we come back, I'm gonna show you how we finish this sauce here real quick. I'm gonna pop this in the oven 350 degrees, give it about 15 minutes. Hey, 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 now we're back. I'm gonna chop up a little bit of garnish to finish this dish. The uh, there we go. Our uh, food has been in the oven now for almost 15 minutes. I need a little bit of garnish to top them. And off to my left here, you're gonna see that I've also got my cream sauce rolling. Now this was just milk along with some seasoning that was added. And I'm gonna add some cheese, which will help tighten that up just a little bit more. A touch of roux sometimes is necessary, but not always depending on what you cooked. If you cook the turtle in that pan, that's what I'm gonna to suggest to you. I had cut the turtle very thin, so it was fine layered there and cooked it that way. But now I just wanna thin this out. The cheese will act uh, as a binder as well. Think of this as a bechamel sauce with a little bit of cheese in it. All right, it's time to make this look fun. Here we go. Now, I come out with the cabbage rolls. I grab the sauce, and all I wanna do is I wanna bathe them right across the top. Now a lot of recipes, you know the cabbage rolls could get the tomato sauce, and that's pretty much always standard, and they usually always will have the rice in them as well. What I'm suggesting to you here is you're using something that's a little, just as easy at home, you've got to milk or cream there at home to utilize. You've got uh, generally cheese and basic seasonings and you've got the cabbage. Inexpensive dish based on, depending on what you've used for the meat. Now in this case we use turtle. Chicken would work, pork would work, you can use anything you want. The thought though here is then I can turn around and now garnish this like so and if I wish to put it back in the oven and hold it at 150 to 200 degrees, I could get by for another hour roughly. But then after that, it won't hold as pretty. So if I want to eat right away, and you know me, I probably do, I'm going to figure two of these for a portion, and I'm going to transfer them to a plate, and they're going to be ready to rumble just like that. And away we go. We'll put a red one on here too. Look at that. Whee! Now I'm sure if you make this for your sweetie at home, she's going to love it. Or if you're making it for that special fellow in your life, I can tell you from personal experience, I'm going to love it. So I'm sure he will too. Give it a try. It's well worth your effort. Thank you.
Oh, this is this is made for TV. This spot. 